Hey guys, how's it going? I've been getting a lot of requests to do a build guide for my Starforge Cyclone Slayer. Uh, use the Starforge, obviously. Um, uh, Devotos, Bronze, Carnage Heart, Essence Worm, a Steel Ring, which you could swap out for a little hoop, a much cheaper version of Steel Ring. Rare gloves, rare belt, rare boots. Uh, I'll quickly go over the links. This is just a ancestral war chief setup. Uses maim, melee fizz, faster attacks, conk, and brutality. You could swap out faster attacks for a ruthless. It's, you know, up to you. Uh, cast one damage taken, immortal call, blood rage, increased duration. Increased duration is mainly for immortal call, but it also helps with blood rage too. Especially since they change density in the maps, sometimes you go go a little ways um, before seeing another pack. Um, and then in your bronze, you ideally want to put your cyclone in your bronze leaf, but sometimes it's it's not possible because this is a five off color uh, setup. So if you have to, you can put it on your star forge. But uh, so you have cyclone. And in order of importance, uh, brutality, melee fizz, ruthless, conk effect, and maim. Maim is your six link. Um, essence worm with haste, really good ring, or really good setup for the build. And the increased attack speed synergizes really well with ruthless. Uh, one note about ruthless: be careful with it because you can die to reflect, even though you are a slayer. You get the reduced reflect damage taken. It still is possible because you hit so hard with the third hit that you can one shot yourself. I've done it. It sucks. Um, spiked gloves not necessary, but nice to have. Uh, you want to get uh, life resist, attack speed. Ideally, you want a fizz damage to attacks roll, but I couldn't get that, and I'm to chicken to actually annul these and try to get a uh, fizz damage to attacks roll. Uh, but I have Fall Lightning Trap, Enduring Cry, Stone Golem, and Increased Duration. Increased Duration is mainly for the Fall Lightning Trap. Um, uh, Stone Golem is not entirely necessary for the build. You could probably go with uh, Flame Golem or even a Chaos Golem. It's up to you. This build does have quite a bit of uh, physical damage reduction when you factor in flasks and whatnot. Um, belts, standard life, resist, strength, movement speed. You want to ideally try to find a belt that has an open prefix so you can craft the movement speed on there. Um, boots, life, resist, strength, movement speed, kind of it's not super critical to have the movement speed, but it is a huge quality of life. Um, the enchantment you ideally want is either the increased attack speed if you killed recently, or increased life leech per second, or uh, life leech per second, increased life leech if you killed recently. This 80% chance to avoid being stunned is absolutely useless for this build. I just haven't had a chance to swap it out. Uh, flask lines were pretty standard for most melee builds. Basalt Flask, uh, you can use either, I chose Reflexes, you can use a Grounding or a Warding Flask, it's up to you. Uh, Quicksilver of Adrenaline, very nice flask for Cyclone. Witchfire Brew, grants level 21 Vulnerability, cl vulnerability Curse, which I believe is a 30% increased damage taken. So that's a 30% more multiplier, which is actually better than a Lion's Roar, but yeah, uh, and you must have a freeze or a divine life flask of heath. You can use the eternal life flask; it doesn't really matter. You just need a of heat flask somewhere in your build. Uh, as far as leveling goes, uh, use the Rigwald's charge, level 44. You can use a doom sower, but I don't recommend it because it's got a couple of wasted stats like the. Physical damage is fire, doesn't work with brutality, but it's pretty high DPS. Um, or you could use a Kondo's Pride, another high DPS sword. Uh, 
if you can't find a decent belt, just use a belted deceiver. It's got some fairly decent stats. The reduced extra damage taken from critical, critical strikes is really good, as well as the uh, R resist life. And nearby enemies are intimidated, so they take uh, more physical damage. For leveling, just pick you up a couple of rings. Um, do the tabula if you want, gold rim, all that good stuff. Uh, at level 24, switch to Lahoop. This will carry you all the way to red maps. Uh, this particular ring actually carried me all the way to level 100. Uh, it's actually a really really good ring and I, I I feel like it's very underrated um, the 29% increased damage is pretty hard to find on other rings uh, and so it's actually only a couple thousand DPS less so with this with my steel ring it's 184 K DPS with my hoop 182 so like I said I am missing a couple of good stats on this ring to make it the best it could possibly be, but Lay Hoop is really good. Um, use this for leveling until you can get a deceiver. That should carry you until you find a good rare belt. Alright, so now let's go over the tree. The ascendancy is Slayer, obviously. Uh, in order of importance, I went Bane of Legends. The call is really nice to have against uh, bosses like Azaro, uh, Headsman, Endless Hunger, and Brutal Fervor. And that was the order that I took them in. So, so for leveling, went this way. Craft Art of the Gladiators, really good for leveling. You can wear a chest piece without having the movement speed penalty. The attack speed is really nice. Accuracy is pretty good in the early levels. Destroyer came down, grabbed Golem's Blood, grabbed the Jewel Socket, moved over, grabbed Bloodless, Blood Magic, Resolute Technique, get here, grab the Jewel Socket. Now you have three options. You can either go here, here, or here. My main priority was life, so I grabbed this, grabbed the area damage, and then came down here. This was actually, I didn't grab this until probably the 80s or 90s um, and, and instead focused on filling out the sword nodes, the two-handed nodes, the sword node here. Uh, grab this, actually this should probably be your main priority, the extra life leech and life leech per second is really good. Damage while leeching, you're always leeching so you want to pick this up pretty early too. Um, and grab your two-handed, like I said, grab your sword grab your swords. If you want to use a disfavor, you can. You just need to swap out. And instead of grabbing this, grab your splitting axes or splitting strikes. Grab the axe notes here instead of the sword notes here. This is more notes, but uh, it should be more damage. You probably just have to sacrifice probably this jewel socket and these resists or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's the tree. If you have any questions, you can uh, m leave a comment down in the YouTube section or in the comment section below. I usually answer all the questions that people ask when I get a chance. Sometimes, you know, if I'm away at work, I, I can't answer them, but uh, I try to answer everything. I try to be as helpful as I can. So thanks for watching and have a good day.